This is Ryan with NutraSport and Full Potential Training in Clive, Iowa, and here's a tip to help you reach your full potential. Hey, this is Ryan Irwin and Chris Bowman again here with you with uh, some table talk from NutraSport Altoona, and today we're going to talk to you about goal setting. You know, this is the, I love this time of year. This, this time of year is awesome because you kind of can reset things and, and re-motivate yourself and just and plan ahead for the next year to come, and it really, really you know, makes an impact. Um, there's, you know, studies out there that show that people that actually write down their goals and, and put it up somewhere where they can see them is much more successful in attaining them than people that just kind of have them in the back of their head. So what uh, the truth and I are going to talk to you about today are just some different things that maybe would help you in setting those goals and then maybe give some examples of our own goals. And um, you know, one of the things that I really like to do, Chris, is, is when I set goals for 2000, and I, by the way, I like goals. Goals are meant to be achieved. Resolutions are made to be broken here. So that's what we're, that's what we're talking about, goals. Um, but when I, when I write goals, I do it for five different places, okay? And I think this helps you be more balanced. Right. So number one is family. Family is first and, and, and crucially important. Um, and when you set these goals, you want to do it based on your family and relationships, okay? Um, the second thing is physical. Don't have your health. You don't have much, okay? Physical goals. Uh, third, financial. I like to put financial goals third because that's closely following the physical. And then fourth is professional. Now, professional could be like, okay, what do you want to do with your career? What do you want to do, uh, you know, in, in, your, in your public image? Just, I don't know, professional. Um, and then fifth is spiritual, you know, and, and when I say spiritual, that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but I think that that's an important component because it really helps you stay focused and centered. So those are kind of the five things that I, I try to do. And, and every year I do those. And so I write down one to three goals for every, from every one of those standpoints. And write them down. Write them down. Put them somewhere where you'll notice them. Where, where would you put them, Chris? On the fridge. On the fridge. Okay. The truth likes the fridge. So he's going to see those things all day long now. And, and, and like I like to put them there by my computer and my, my desk at home just so I can see them. Reminds me uh, of what I'm working for throughout the year. So, you know, uh, Chris, what do you have? Do you have any goals that you want to share for 2013? Yeah, uh, a goal um, as far as uh, what I'd like to do in, uh, in powerlifting, I'd like to have a 500-pound uh, squat, and the next year I'd like to have, and also I'd like to have a 600-pound deadlift. Wait, wait, is that a full squat? Yes. We don't do you half break, squats. You break parallel and everything? Imagine that, huh? Yeah, we, we try to. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, we're not talking uh, organiz different organizations of squats. We're talking real Deep squats. squats. Yeah. Okay, all right, carry on. Yeah. Um, another uh, personal goal I'd like to have, I'd like to eventually uh, make it in the 198-pound uh, class again yeah, instead of the 220. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> we're setting them high today, folks. Setting them high. Yeah. Good. Anything yeah. else? Um, no. Yeah? That's basically the work, you know, in the lifting area. Gotcha. You know, I've got a lot of goals, um, you know, goals. Oh, I want to see my abs too someday again. Wow. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Tr table talk. Um, you know, goals I have, I have a lot of goals. I won't go over them all today. You know, I have goals for a Nutrisport, um, Team FPT. Um, myself, personally, you know, I think one of the goals I've got is uh, for 2013, I'm going to step back on the bodybuilding stage like I mentioned last time. And I want to be able to balance and do powerlifting at the same time. So uh, I'm kind of thinking about hitting that 148-pound weight class for powerlifting mid-year, and then probably by the end of the year go back up to the 168 or 165-pound class. So do both. Try and coexist them as best I can. Um, don't get weak while I'm getting ripped, and um, and then continue to to compete. Uh, I'd also like to hit a double body weight bench at 165. I did it at 148, so I want to do that again at 165. Um, the other thing I, I want to do, <laughs> this is kind of funny, I want to eliminate piles, okay? And when you have pile, piles... Poop or what? <laughs> well, kind of. No, piles, like just 
piles and stacks of stuff. My wife, we were at a dinner party the other day, and, and the, the ladies were talking about how all their husbands had piles of stuff on their desk. So, and immediately, um, yeah, I, I looked at myself. And so I need to, I'm going to eliminate piles. So that's one of my goals. Um, I think that would be categorized in the uh, professional category there. And it, or maybe family, because if I get rid of piles, this, everything's better. So, uh, but those are some of our goals. Uh, you know, I would challenge you then to the next step is, is ask yourself, what three things do need to occur for those goals to happen? You know, what, what three things do I need to do? What three uh, things does my environment need, need to become? You know, um, it, it, it just, you got to figure out how to make it happen, make it uh, measurable, you know, and so that way you can achieve it. You know, uh, a saying I heard today, uh, discipline sucks, but not as much as regret. So just really focus on those goals. Yeah, look to see what, what, what's it going to take to make 2013 your best year ever. Uh, and if we can help, please let us know. And until then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please share it with your friends on Facebook. Please follow us and like us on Facebook, on Twitter as well. We're excited about our new studio. Besides the personal train, we now have group classes, TRX, kettlebells, yoga. Uh, we continue to do the nutritional supplements and coaching. Thanks for watching and keep tuned in.